everyone. My name is Terry for GDG Nairobi. I am your host today for PreDevFest WTM Talk Series, where we host speakers from our previous DevFest events uh, to come and tell us about the DevFest experience. Today, I'll be hosting Marlene Mhangami, who spoke at DevFest 2019, GDG Nairobi. She's the co-founder of and co-founder and director of Purple Lipstick, which is a Zimbabwean uh, non-profit organization that empowers young women to reach their full potential. She's also the first African woman to be on board of Python Software Foundation, the organization behind Python. And finally, she's the founder of Zimbo Pi, an after-school coding program for girls uh, in underserved communities in Zimbabwe. Marlene, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, yeah. Say hi to the people. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much for having me, Terry. I'm super excited to be here. <laughs> uh, so we are so glad, Berlin. Thank you very much for creating time to join us. Today, we we'll want you to tell us a little bit more about yourself. I know you've already done a small intro, but you can add on so that we can carry on with the first. OK, cool. I am based, well, like Terry said, my name is Marlene. And I am based in Harare, Zimbabwe. Um, for those of you who don't know, Zimbabwe is in the southern part of Africa. It's it's very close, actually, I would say, to Kenya. I mean, it's not like super close, but <laughs> a reasonable distance. Um, and uh, I, like she mentioned, I have a nonprofit called Zimbo Pi uh, that teaches girls how to code in Python. I'm also the current vice chair for the Python Software Foundation. Um, I really enjoy working with Python communities in general. And um, right now I'm still in school, but I'm also doing um, an internship with NVIDIA. So focusing mainly on uh, GPU computing and uh, the Rapids AI uh, data frame project. <laughs> and so really, really enjoying um, working with the team there. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do in the tech space at the moment. Okay, thank you very much, Melin. My first question is, when you hear about DevFest, what comes to mind? What memories do you have from DevFest? Well, I think there are so many memories. I just remember like the last time I was there, it was just so vibrant. I think the community was so great and everyone was so friendly as well. And um, I think everyone went out of their way to make sure that, you know, I was not from Kenya. So, uh, you know, very possible for me to have gotten lost or something. Yeah. But there were so many people, I think, that were just looking out for me and who were really showing me, okay, this is where you go, this is what you do. And just in general, there's so much to learn and so much to do. So, uh, yeah, it's just vibrant. That's what I remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Marlene, for you, I would like us to, I would like you to take us through your journey in tech. Being a woman, and as we all know, uh, tech is a male dominated industry there's so many men being a woman and and being doing all these great things today tell us through uh, about your experience how is it how it has been all these years and all these great things that you have done talk to us right. um so you know my journey into tech is very unconventional and very all over the place um i actually started in school studying molecular biology i thought i wanted to be a doctor um, I don't know if it's the same in Kenya, but for me, I feel like my parents just felt that there's like two professions. It's either you are a doctor or you're a lawyer. <laughs> um, and so for me, I just thought I, I would just go the doctor route. But then when I was at school, I ended up not feeling like that was the, the right thing for me. And there were just a lot of things that led to me actually figuring out that I wanted to actually do more things related with technology. And specifically when I was starting out, I wanted to use technology to empower women. Um, 100%, like what you said, there are very few women in the tech space. And I would say African women, we are even fewer. <laughs> um, yeah. But 
that's something that 100% is changing and it's something that uh, I started really, you know, my initial tech journey was, was pretty much just surrounded uh, by people who are very supportive of women in tech. I uh, met up with some amazing people here in Zimbabwe who are organizing Django Girls Harare and, uh, you know, sort of got introduced to Python that way. And from there, I just kind of started teaching myself how to program in, in Python as, as I was also trying to teach other people as well. And um, I think through that, I really discovered that I, I do actually really enjoy to program. Um, and it's something that everyone can do. It's not like, I feel like the problem is I feel like the movies make it seem like this really difficult thing that no one in the world can understand except like guys who are just obsessed with programming or something. Uh -huh. um, but I definitely feel that it's something that so many women can can excel in. And I found for myself with the help of different communities, even with GDG, um, you know, there were so many women and women tick maker series that really encouraged me and showed me that, okay, this is something that I can actually see myself being successful in. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where I went from there. I did then decide to go back to school. And so I am getting my CS degree. <laughs> um, <Wow. laughs> but I, yeah, but doing it at the same time as, as working as well. So I think that one thing that I would say 100% is just start wherever you are and then you figure it out as you go along um, because that's definitely been the case for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. So for the first time, we're having DevFest, DevFest Kenya, and it's actually virtual. So with all these things and the pandemic, um, how do you think this whole setup and different ways of doing things has affected the tech events and people in tech? Mm. Um, I think that, you know, obviously there's a downside to everything moving online because, you know, we don't have that same in-person connection that, you know, I really miss being at a conference and meeting random people, uh, people that I've never met before and being in a new place. Like for me, traveling to Kenya had, was so amazing. Nairobi was so cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I had never had that opportunity to travel there outside of, you know, using a tech conference as an excuse to go. Um, <laughs> and so I think for me, I 100% miss that part of human interaction. But at the same time as well, I do feel that there's so many more opportunities now in terms of having things online. It means that we are able to have uh, speakers, like a di more diverse range of speakers from all over the world. It also means that your attendees as well are from all over the world as, uh, too. And you don't have, you don't really have a limit in terms of the content you can get, engage with. You know, you don't only have to just watch one talk at this time and that's it. Uh, you can watch like a lot of content. So this is a great time, I think, to be learning, to be networking as well with people from all over the world. Um, and yeah, remote is great because it means we don't have borders anymore, which is fantastic. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about how cool Nairobi is. So I'm going to ask you, how did you find the Nairobi nightlife? When GDG Nairobi hosted you, <laughs> how was that experience? Did they take you to eat some Yamachoma? Yes. How was it? It was really good. I forget the places we went, but there was one night, I think the last night of the conference, we all went, um, I think into like that, I don't know if, it, if we went into like the, into town. And we got to taste a lot of different food and uh, the new, you know, sort of drinks that I had never tasted before. Um, <laughs> and it was really, really good. I think just, I personally really, really like Nairobi. I think it's like, uh, I feel like the culture is very similar to Zimbabwe's culture, actually. So like, even the food and things like that, there were things that, a few things that were different, but a lot of the things were actually really similar. Um, and I don't know why <laughs> that is that our cultures are so similar, 
Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. Yes, the meat was really good. Thank enjoyed you. That. <laughs> the meat was great. Um, and, and in general, I, I just really enjoyed it. Everyone was so friendly. It was so much fun. So, yeah. Okay. So when the borders open, we would love to host you again for any other tech event that we'll have <laughs> physically. <laughs> Uh, um, lastly, as we wrap up, I want you to tell me your favorite time at DevFest. One one single experience that uh, you might have experienced while being a speaker or afterwards uh, being in GDG, being at DevFest 2019 GDG Nairobi. Um, I think my favorite memory from that time, I have like this memory of, the venue was really great. And I remember in, in the mornings, there was like a very cool space where we would have breakfast. Yes. And I had so many great conversations with people uh, in that space. And I think just remembering this, this, this moment where I was there, we are in Kenya, and I'm having breakfast with someone from like Nigeria, someone from yeah. Nairobi, someone... Um, can't even remember all of the places where people came from, but people from all over Africa, um, and just the experience of being there and and listening to people's ideas. We talked a lot about different technologies and how technology has affected Africa, um, and how certain technologies are are going to grow and things like that. And so, for me, I think those are my favorite parts of the conversation is when you can just sit down and um, talk to people, especially about the future of Africa. That's something I, I love talking about. So um, yeah, I think that's, that's my favorite experience. Uh, finally, as we wrap up, out there, there's so many young women who look up to you. I personally, I, I am mind blown by the things that you've done. I want you to reach out to them through our platform, talk to them. Uh, send, send a word of hope as well as invite them for the first the first Kenya that's happening on from Friday we have WTM and on Saturday and Sunday we have the first Kenya invite them to come on board uh, just talk to them okay awesome <laughs> well thank you Terry those were really kind words I think um you know, I would just say for any woman who is watching, who is in tech or even thinking about getting into tech, um, 100% the thing that I would say is just continue to be yourself, you know, never, um, don't doubt yourself. I think that a lot of times, um, particularly if you're coming to tech from somewhere else, in general, actually, as a woman, sometimes when you come into tech, you can have imposter syndrome and feel like you don't belong there. Um, but just know that you are just as capable. Everything that you know is enough to, for the moment. And uh, there's nothing that you can't learn. I think that's something that I, I've been figuring out as I go along, that if you actually want to learn something, no, there is absolutely nothing you cannot learn. And you should never let anyone make you feel like you uh, something is too far out of your reach to understand or, or anything like that. Um, and just women are amazing. It's just yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so definitely, if you are coming to Dev Fest, I would love to see you there. I hope you have an amazing time at the conference as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, Malin, for today and for this session that you've had. It goes a long way for us as GDG Nairobi, and also as Dev Fest Kenya, which is happening on Friday. So thank you for being here and for that session. At this point, I would love to wrap up the talk and invite everybody else um, to be to come to register. We have the link uh, on, on our comment section. If you have not RSVP'd, please fill out that form. Join us on Friday, join us on Saturday, join us on Sunday. Come, let's all learn and see everything that uh, is going to take place because for the first time, it's virtual. We have so much to expect. I'm just eagerly waiting to see all of you there. Thank you very, very much. From me and GDG Nairobi, welcome and see you at DevFest Kenya. Bye, everyone.